My name's Arthi. Hi, my name is Abby, and we're from the Mississauga Library. Brr, it's gotten so cold this winter, I wish I bought something to keep my hands and wrists warm. But why buy it when you can make it? Make a hand warmer? How do you do that on your own? With some simple knitting skills and yarn, you can make your very own hand warmers. Here are a few knitting supplies that you'll need. First, you'll need knitting needles. They come in many different kinds and sizes. The larger the size of your needles, the faster this project will be finished. Today, we'll be using size 6 needles. It should also be at least 25 centimeters in length to fit your stitches. Second, you'll need yarn. If this is your first time trying to knit, we do recommend using a thicker acrylic or wool yarn because these are easier to work with since they're stretchy. We're using this chunky yarn that changes colors as you knit. It is size 4, medium. You'll also need an embroidery or tapestry needle. This is a needle that has an eye large enough to put your thicker yarn through. And finally, we'll need scissors, measuring tape, and buttons if you want to sew them on at the end. For today's project, we're going to be making a flat, squarish, or rectangular piece where we're also going to be sewing the ends together so that it'll form a tube where your hands can go through. Like this. Ta-da! But first, before we start anything, let's make a small swatch to test out our gauge. Your gauge is the number of stitches per centimeter with a certain size needle and yarn. This allows you to make something that fits you much better. Making a swatch will also allow you to practice the techniques of how to cast on, how to make knit stitches, and how to cast off or bind off. And try making a couple of these swatches so that by the end of them, you're comfortable with these three basic knitting skills. If you can make two or three swatches that are about the same size every time, that means you're knitting at a fairly even tension every time. And that means your knitting skills are solid. Are you ready to make your own hand warmers? First, tie a knot around your needle with a longish string at the end. Next, hold out your hand over the part of the string that connects to the yarn ball, then grab the string, twist your wrist to the left, and make a peace sign with your index and middle fingers. Then turn the peace sign out so that you can see your fingernails. Put the needle through the space between your peace sign and under the string and then pull the string down on the needle. You're basically making a nice loop around your needle. Do this another 11 times to make a total of 12 cast-on stitches. Try not to make the cast-on stitches too tight or too spaced out. After you've cast on your stitches, it's time to knit. In knitting, there are many different kinds of stitches you can do, but today we're only showing the knit stitch. The stitches should be on your left-hand needle. Insert the right-hand needle under the first loop on the left-hand needle. Loop the yarn around the right-hand needle, then with the right-hand needle, go under the original left-hand stitch to take it off the left-hand needle. That stitch is now on the right-hand needle. Once the stitch is on the right-hand needle, tighten the loop a little by pulling the loose yarn. Continue making knit stitches until you've used up all the stitches on the left-hand needle. Transfer your now empty left-hand needle to the right and start knitting the stitches again. Once you've made enough rows to make a small rectangular swatch, you're done! Next, we have to cast off or bind off the knitting. This seals off your knitting so that it doesn't unravel. To start, make sure that your knit rectangle or square is to the right of the needle. Knit two stitches, then pull the first stitch over the second stitch and off the needle using your left hand needle or with your finger. For the very last stitch on the needle, cut a long piece of yarn from the yarn ball and put it through the last stitch. So you can estimate the number of stitches you'll need to cast on by seeing how many times the swatch goes around the widest part, the widest part of your hand. So in our case, we're actually going to be using maybe one, two, and just a little bit more. 
If we're doing it twice, since we cast on 12 stitches, it would be 12 times 2 stitches, so 24 stitches. You can add a few more stitches so that your final hand warmer is a bit looser. This will allow you to wear your gloves and to put your hand warmer on top. For our hand warmer, we use 30 stitches, but if you'd like a tighter fit, you can use up to closer to 24 to 26 stitches. So cast on your stitches and make sure you leave a long string hanging for the first stitch. You can use this long string at the end of the project to sew your edges together. Knit until your hand warmer is as long as you want it to be. In our case, we knit 74 rows. Make sure you count how many rows you are knitting for the first hand warmer so that you can knit the same number of rows for the second hand warmer. Ta-da! So here's one finished rectangle for the hand warmer. Now let's sew the two ends together. This is called the mattress stitch and you can use the loose yarn on either end of your knit piece for sewing. Use an embroidery needle and put the yarn end through the eye of the needle. We basically want to match each knitted row on the left side with a matching row on the right side. When you look at a row of knit stitches, you can see both happy faces and rainbows. Fold your knitting in half and make sure the rows are matching on the left and right side of your work. Put the needle through the other side at the corner. On the row where you inserted your needle, find the first rainbow shape on the left half of the work and put your needle through it. Then move up one row and find the first happy face shape on the right side of the work and put your needle through it. Whenever you go to the left side of your work, stay on the same row and find a rainbow shape. Whenever you go to the right side of your work, move up a row and find a smiley face to put your needle through. Make sure you don't sew too tightly. Loosen up your sewing by stretching it out. To tie off your thread, push your needle into the inside of the hand warmer, put your needle through one of the stitches inside the hand warmer, then put the needle through the loop you made and tighten it. You can do this a second time to make it sturdier, then cut the extra thread. Since ours had two different colors, I tied off the blue thread and used the green thread on the green parts of the hand warmer. To make it easier for yourself, you can just finish the whole seam with one yarn color. Now that you have one hand warmer, just do the same thing for the second one, and then you're done! If you like, you can also add buttons to your hand warmers, or should I say, gauntlets of earth and water power! Mmm! Yes, these would definitely keep my hands warm this winter. So that's about it. Before we sign off, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our library website and social media channels for like regular updates. Thanks and see, and see you, you next time. time.